Hey everyone! Hey, hey, and welcome to After Hours here at Linda's Electric Quilters. We have an exciting throwback Thursday for you today, something that we've had lots of questions on. Mm -hmm. There's a video that was actually done by Alice, mom, grandma, grandma yeah. a long time ago, and it's a really good video. Yeah. Um, so we thought, why not show it again? Yeah, we had to pull this one from the archives seven years ago. Seven That's years. That's how old this video is, but it is still so amazingly relevant. Yeah. And there's so much good information in this video. Yeah. We used this product in our video last week? Yeah. Two weeks ago? I don't Not remember last anymore. Week. Um, the Steam Seam product when we made the applique with our Cricut makers. Mm -hmm. So you get to get a little bit more of an in-depth video and tutorial on how the Steam Seam works and other ways that you can use it besides the way you saw it in our Cricut video. Exactly. So make sure you stay tuned, watch the video. You're going to get so many great ideas on how to use the Steam Seam. I can't wait. And it's so quick and so easy. Yeah, it yes. is. Yes. All right, Grandma, take it away. Today we're going to do a demonstration on Steamacine. We have Steamacine 2 and Steamacine Lite. The difference between them is that this, the light is used on t-shirts, on pillows, different types of applique that you want to do on a lighter fabric um, that you want more flexible. The Steamacine 2 is used on all your regular projects. You can put them on purses and bags, on a heavier fabric, on a quilt. Any of those can be used for applique. One of the, some of the neat qualities of this steam machine is that it is a double-sided temporary stick and it's bonded with your iron. So we will be using our iron today. Um, and I'm going to show you. Now this is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. You can put this in a printer and print an outline on it and then be able to stick it on. And we're gonna kind of show you that today. And I'm gonna show you on the drawing. So I happen to love butterflies. So we have a butterfly and I just stick it behind it and I draw it. So now I have my pattern ready. The other thing is if you have a favorite heart that you've used on applique before and you have an old heart left from one of your quilts, you wanna use it. You would do the same. You would take your heart and you would stick it right under. And I would take my pen and I would outline it until I had it totally outlined. Once I have everything outlined the way I want, this is what it's going to look like. Whether you've had it printed on your printer or whether you did your outline yourself. So I have my pieces of fabric here that I want to use. I'm going to use purple for my butterfly and green for my heart. Um, I lay them down with the pretty side down. Okay. This, like I said, is a double-sided sticky. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pull this back piece of paper off. And then I will take and put this onto my fabric. And press it down nice and good. So I have it all pressed in place exactly the way I want. Once I have it pressed the way I want, then I'm going to take and cut it out. So when I do more than one on a sheet, I will cut them smaller so that I have easier um, sections to work with. Once I have it totally cut out, it will look like this. So you have your side and side. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to peel off the side, the dark side that has the lines on. I'm going to peel it off. And this is sticky. So I will take and set this on my fabric. I'll do the same on the butterfly. So now I have my butterfly and I put it. Now the neat thing about this is that it is sticky. So I can look at that and I'm, mm, I don't like it. So I pull my butterfly up and I move it, decide exactly where I want it to go. I have it down the way I want and then I take my iron and I iron it.
once I have it ironed on the way I like, then I have my square done. And then I can go and accent my heart, my butterflies when I'm quilting, or if I'm doing an applique on my machine and I want to zigzag around the edges and add antennas, I want to put things on the heart and put I love you in there, whatever I want to do, my block is now ready for me to decorate out. <laughs>